Listen to this. What you do every single day is what you become, right? You do programming every day, you become an amazing programmer. You play every day, you become an amazing player. You write every day, you become an amazing writer. But if you do all of that with negative thoughts every day, then how you could have a positive life? Welcome back to the Exploding Podcast. My name is Teja. Thank you so much for joining us or tuning in back. We have reached over thousands of listeners. And one other thing that I love about the podcast and especially about the Unicast is that I get a chance to speak to you personally, sharing the things that I always want to do. And I love your messages and stories that makes me feel your joy and intention that are actually aligned with our purpose. Today, I'm going to share one of my personal experiments and its results that literally made me stun. On top of that, you can also notice how Michael Kennedy host of the number one python podcast in the world connected with our thoughts on people's feedback and killing ants yes you heard it right it's automatic negative thoughts just try this interesting experiment start your day as usual and let your mind go free and for any instance or for any situation just notice how many times you predict the coming outcome <laughs> it's maybe you're making a phone call to your friend and predicting whether the person answers the call or not or maybe you're making a bank transaction and predicting that would happen successfully or not and now surprisingly we make more negative predictions over positive ones and more surprisingly those negative things would never ever happen than positives right According to National Science Foundation an average person has about 12000 to 60000 thoughts per day out of that 85% are negative and 95% are repetitive thoughts if you are having 85% of your thoughts are negative then probably around 90% of your repetitive thoughts are also negative right Listen to this. What do you do every single day is what you become, right? You do programming every day, you become an amazing programmer. You play every day, you become an amazing player. You write every day, you become an amazing writer. But if you do all of that with negative thoughts every day, then how you could have a positive life? As Anna is named stated that we don't see the things as they are, we see the things as how we are. If we all have negative thoughts in our mind, how we could see positiveness from others, right? and also most of the times our mind gets stuck with single negative feedback over hundreds of positive ones now listen to michael segment from episode number 9 that will stick with you for years yeah even though five people said it was great yeah one person doesn't like it and all of a sudden like they're gone right yeah. that one person <laughs> is like this dark cloud raining on you like come on man travel like <laughs> eight time zones to be here are you kidding me <laughs> You know, just you got to like remember that fear and and that negative feedback. Hmm. You got to keep it in check, right? Because we feel we feel it stronger than it deserves to be. Taking that a bit forward, now how we can kill such ants? We all know that when someone instructs us to not to think about something, we definitely think about that. It's like someone says don't imagine an apple, all of a sudden an apple pops into your brain, right? In the same way, rehearsing and thinking about negative thoughts over and over in your head can be unpleasant and counterproductive and in some cases it can even lead to chronic depression. Then how we could tackle this and break this, right? This is from Jay Shetty, spotting, stopping and swapping your thoughts can result in a huge difference all you need to do is to spot that negative thought stop that and swap it with a positive one you just need to spot it first stop that and swap it it would look like if you're going to deliver a speech and you're so nervous about it then think about the positive impact you could make if you can deliver it so well If you are appear for an interview and afraid of getting rejected, appreciate yourself for giving it a try and taking time to tune yourself better for the next time. If you are feeling that you are not growing quickly, realize and replace that thought what consistency can make you win, right? Being positive doesn't mean you don't have negative thoughts. It just means you don't let those thoughts control your life. Thank you so much for listening and making it so far. I hope you enjoyed today's Unicast episode. If you did, I would love to share your biggest takeaways on Instagram. Join us at exploit.chat and tag me to let others know about the podcast. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for all your love and support that you have given to the podcast and I can't wait anymore to create more and more episodes with potential and exploiting insights. Thank you.